Hello, welcome to Mass 62, Quantitative Literacy One at Blue Mountain Community College. I'm Gary Parker, your teacher this quarter. So here I'm on the home page in Canvas, and this is where I recommend you come to work on the course. Uh, although I know some people have their dashboard set up to show uh, their uh, selection of due assignments, uh, if you only look there, you might miss out on some other important things. So I have a, a daily work schedule here, and this is, uh, oops, this is fall, I'll update it for winter, uh, shows what you should be working on for each part of the week. So in the beginning of the first week of classes, we have a lesson one one, and then middle to end of the first week of classes, lesson one two, and we'll do about two lessons per week. Um, up to the midterm, and then there'll be an exam in week five, and then we just keep working about two lessons uh, per week. Each lesson has three parts. So except for the first one, there'll be a prep, which is some math you might have learned before, but it might be new. Um, most likely it's going to be a refresher of some math, uh, and you'll have some questions to answer. And these are all repeatable in the prep. And so once you get it started, be sure to read through the preliminary information, the things you're gonna learn here. Uh, sometimes it's a text box. So this one is pretty an open-ended question. Um, oops, didn't wanna submit that. And then if there's more questions, you have this navigation bar at the top here. So you can either arrow through them or select another question by clicking on it. And there'll be videos occasionally uh, accompanying different assignments. You should watch those when they come up. And if you don't get the problem right the first time, you can select another problem. Then after the prep, there's the actual lesson. So this is kind of like an online textbook. So there'll be definitely some things to read through, the stuff we're working on, there'll be some examples, and then you will do similar things to the examples uh, in the problems here. Uh, so check out, again, the beginning part where we give examples of, say, numbers in words, numbers as digits, and numbers as powers. And again, there'll be similar questions down below. And... These are usually grouped by pages, and a page will have one or more questions on it. So this next page has a few different questions. Each question has a few different parts. Now, on the lesson, do not submit until you've found a way to rethink or check your answer, because you'll only get 100% on the first try. Uh, if you don't get it right on the first few tries, then I'll just show you the answer, and you can type the answer and at least get half credit for the problem. So the lessons, again, it's in your best interest to get it right on the first try if you want 100%. The prep, you can redo till you get 100%. And then the homework is similar. They are questions similar to in the lesson, and those are repeatable till you get 100%. So you can always get 100% on the prep. You can always get 100% on the homework. And on the lesson, you'll only get 100% if you get them right on the first try. And again, if you don't get it right after the first few tries, I'll just show you the answer and you can input the answer, submit it and get credit for partial credit for that. In the beginning, there are some lessons about or some readings and responses about how to be a good student. So it's called self-regulated learning and there's a plan section. And then next week, there's the work part of self-regulated learning. And then the third week, there's this reflect. And so you'll read through the document about what it means to be a self-regulated learner. And then you'll write to me about some questions I have about what you read. Um, otherwise, every week's gonna have two lessons. Each lesson will have a prep, the lesson part and the homework. Sometimes there'll be an extra page of videos. Usually the videos are inside of each assignment. And then at the end of each week, there's a learning forum where you're going to tell me something interesting you learned or something you struggled with. And then there'll be a share your work assignment. Um, both the learning forum and the share your work are discussions. So you get to see what other people posted. And I encourage you to respond to other students. Uh, the Again, the learning forum is just tell me something you learned that was interesting or tell me something you struggled with and hopefully comment on somebody else's post. The share your work is a problem like in one of the lessons where you're going to write your work on paper, 
take a picture of it and then upload the picture uh, of your work. After you make your submission, you should look back to see what other people posted. And I will post some stuff in there also sometimes, but you'll only get to see other people's posts after you've posted yours. So at first, when you go there, it'll be empty. And then once you post, you'll see who else posted. And you can take a look at what other people did. Uh, for the share your work, you just get one try on those. So make sure you do a good job on the first try. And that's the basics of the course. Uh, so again, this is not an algebra class. It is a class in uh, mathematics in the world today. And you're going to uh, use this class as a preparation to get ready for uh, a college level math course. Um, if you're going into a non-science area, or maybe you need statistics in the future, this class also preps for statistics. Um, so this is, is part of a sequence. <clears throat> if you have any questions about the course or the stuff you should do, please get in touch with me. And the syllabus is my contact information. I've got my phone number there, my email address. Uh, you can get in touch with me through the inbox here also. Uh, so stay in touch. Do good math, and I'm looking forward to working with you this quarter. Thanks. Have a great day.